Mind Body Connection. Right, yo, this is where you have the questions and we have the answers. Okay, so the question of the week is this, yo, people have been hitting me up, man. Yo, how do I test my fitness levels, Mike? How do I test my fitness levels? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hey, before you start that, okay, you, yeah. you gotta tell the reason why I'm in this glass. Oh, yeah, yo, yo, yo. For anyone who's watching these videos, okay. okay, the reason he's looking like something out of Miami Vice, okay, okay, he's got an eye, eye injury. Yeah, okay. So yeah. obviously, he's just protecting his eyes. He ain't trying to be cool. Yeah. It's just, this is not vanity, this is actually a health reason why he's got that. So let's get into the question. Okay, okay. Right, okay. Yeah. right. check in your heart rate. Yeah. Okay. It's really important when you do it, okay? Because yeah. you want to see, gauge how your fitness is going up. Okay? Awesome. Now, so what kind of level should that be at? Right. Somebody who trains should yeah. be looking at really 40 to 60. Okay, so resting heart rate, so that's yeah. when I'm chilling resting. out. Yeah. Okay, sitting in the chair, my resting heart rate should be between 40 and 60. Okay, 40 okay. and 60. And then what you, is that the whole old school days where you just go like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You can easily check it like. You know, two yeah. fingers there, or you can check your pulse there. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, get your stop clock, check it what it's like for a minute, and then if it comes between 40 or 60 in that time, that's what you're doing. You're really good. Okay. Oh, okay. What about if you're not an athlete? Right. You're not, okay. If you're not an athlete, yeah. okay, you're looking between 60 to 100. Okay, so okay. anything between 40 then and 100, ideally we're aiming between 40 and 60. Yeah. Okay. 60. What about. Yeah, go on, sorry. Go on. What about um, those who uh, they talk about recovery? You know what I mean? How quickly you recover? Well, you gotta remember: the more you exercise, yeah. the more your heart's it's gonna be pumping around the blood, and it's gonna be more efficient. So, yeah. what will happen? Your heart resting rate will start to come down. Yeah. The more you exercise over a period of time. Awesome. Okay? Man. So you, it's possible for over a period of time you can work in between those levels of 40 to 60. Yeah. Okay? That's what we're aiming for. Yeah, but you will start to see it come down over a period if you consistently keep If you're consistent, yeah, yeah. right? Consistent. Consistent, right. then you're gonna get it down. Yo, for those people who don't have a watch, I mean like the two fingers and that's too primitive for you, get yourself a watch, like a uh, Apple watch or something yeah, like Fitbit. that. Fitbit. Fitbit, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That can check all your resting heart rate. So listen, okay, you had the questions. We have the answers. Gym fit, body shot, mind, body connection. connection. Let's knock it out of the park. I like that.